Good morning. Welcome everyone to worship this morning. It is a fifth Sunday, and so we're going to try a psalm service as we go through our worship this day. It is also our privilege this morning to have our endowment Sunday at the end of the service. We will be handing out the scholarships from the scholarship committee uh, that will be, uh, be utilized throughout this next school year, so stay tuned for that. We want to open our worship this morning by singing Be Still My Soul Before the Lord, hymn number 771. Lord unto us all. Amen. 
You may be seated as we want to continue by singing Renew Me, O Eternal Life, number 704.
peoples, both low and high, rich and poor together. Truly, no man can ransom another for the ransom of their life is costly. This is the path of those who have foolish confidence. Like sheep, they are appointed for shoal. But God will ransom my soul from the power of shoal. Continue by singing our creo hymn, We All Believe in One True God, in number 954.
Testament reading this day is from the first chapter of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. I, the preacher, have been king over Israel and Jerusalem, and I applied my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. I have seen everything that is done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and a striving after wind. I hated all my toil, in which I toil under the sun, seeing that I must leave it to man who will come after me, who knows whether he will be wise or a fool, yet he will be master of all, for which I toiled and used my wisdom under the sun. This also is vanity. So I turned about and gave my heart up to despair over all the toil of my labors under the sun, because sometimes a person who has toiled with wisdom and knowledge and skill must leave everything to be enjoyed by someone who did not toil for it. This also is vanity and a great evil. What must, what is a man from all the toil and striving of heart with which he toils under the sun? For all his days are full of sorrow, and his work is a vexation. Even in the night his heart does not rest. This also is vanity. There is nothing better for a person than that he should eat and drink and find enjoyment in his toil. This also I saw is from the hand of God, for apart from him who can eat or who can have enjoyment. For to the one who pleases him, God has given wisdom and knowledge and joy, but to the sinner he has given the busyness of gathering and collecting, only to give to one who pleases God. This also is vanity and a striving after win. This is the word of the Lord. Continue by singing, Christ be my leader, hymn 861. Of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these, 
you too once walked when you were living in them. But now you must put them away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek or Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, scanty and slave or free, but Christ is all in all. This is the word of the Lord. Continue by singing, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing in number 528. of his possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, 
the land of a rich man produced plentifully. And he thought to himself, thought to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you. For the things you have prepared for those will be. So it will be for the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated as we want to continue our worship this day by singing of God himself before me. Hymn number 724. Please note that we have divided this hymn in various sections between men, women, upstairs, downstairs, and all. <coughs>
want to continue by singing, Holy God, we praise thy name in number 940. Christ Jesus, for all people according to their needs. All is vanity, O Lord, without the grace and succor of your word and spirit. Guard our hearts against pride and arrogance and the life of rich and things but poor in spirit. Grant us wise hearts that we will love rightly all that you have made and use them all for your purpose and glory. Guard your church, O Lord, that the people of your possession and give to her honorable and noble men for the office of the holy ministry and gracious and devout men and women commissioned for teaching arts and work of charity within your church. Make us rich in the treasure of your grace 
that will never disappoint us, that we may give generously towards those in need. Grant that in our lives together we might show the love of Christ to one another. Give all husbands and wives fidelity to their vows and promises. Help all parents teach their children to know and to love the Lord. Guide all single adults that they might find fulfillment in their service to others. O oh Lord, kingdoms rise and fall. Leaders are raised up and brought low by your will. Grant our nation and its leaders humility before you, that we might recognize the vanity of all the plans and so be ready to rejoice and to give thanks for every good gift in the days that you give us under the sun. Be near to the suffering and dying and the grieving. We especially come to you this day asking that you would continue to watch over Hudson and Van. Be with Gladys and Hildegard, with Mary and Douglas, with Chris and Shannon, with Irene and Zelda. Be with Greg and Cindy, Kenneth and Laverne and Conway. Watch over Lillian and Annie, Joyce and Don, Russell and Ginger, Mandy and Franklin, Stephen and Bethany, Heather and Jack, Pat and Carol, Diane, Judy and Tiffany. Heavenly Father, grant unto them your healing. Be with their caregivers as well, that they may provide the care that they need. Sustain all in the truth that their lives are even now hidden with Christ in God, and that when he appears, that we also will appear with him in glory. Give unto us compassionate and skilled doctors, nurses, that the suffering may be alleviated and the minds and bodies return to health. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those men and women who continue to serve our mighty nation and the armed forces. We ask, O Lord, that you would watch over Stephen, Kosh, Koi, and Jacob. Grant unto them your protective care. Heavenly Father, be with them as they are separated from families, that they may be kept safe. Heavenly Father, we look around in the news and we hear of those various firefighters and first responders who must fight the fires in this heat. We ask, O Lord, that you would put your protective hand upon them, watch over, lead them, and guide them, that they may be safe as they have service to their communities. I answer all doubt and fear, O Lord, with the confidence in your word and sacraments, that by the means of grace we may be kept holy and guarded from temptation and despair, until the day when you bring us to that perfect fulfillment who have delivered us to everlasting life. Heavenly Father, we know that you were it all in your time and in your way. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would speed the day when we may have rain upon our area. Watch over us. Grant unto us patience as we await the fulfillment of your time. Bless us with this bountiful gift, O oh Lord, as it cares for your creation. All these things, whatever else is upon our heart, we lay before you in the name of our Savior, who has taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated as we want to continue our worship by singing Rock of Ages in number 761.
Let us pray. Almighty God, grant your church your Holy Spirit and that wisdom that comes down from above, that your word may not be bound but have free course to be preached to the joy and the edifying of Christ's holy people, that in steadfast faith we may serve you. And the confession of your name abide unto the end through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. by singing hymn number 707, Oh, that the Lord would guide my way.
Morning. On behalf of the St. Paul Lutheran Scholarship Committee Fund, we'd like to present two scholarship checks. Uh, Dr. Please join me up front. To, uh, one to Madison Meadow and another to Magdalena Oversat. Both these checks are each for $3,000. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as he mentioned, my name is Madison Meta. Um, I am a member at Emmanuel Lutheran in Giddings. In just a couple of weeks, I will be starting my junior year at Concordia University in Austin. Um, I'm studying to get my Lutheran teaching degree for elementary education. Um, so I just want to take a moment to say thank you. I am very blessed. So thank you again. Good morning, as I mentioned, I'm Magdalena Oberzat. Uh, I currently attend Concordia University, Wisconsin, and outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I study classical Lutheran education. Um, uh, at the moment, so I plan on being a Lutheran school teacher. Um, I'd also like to attend the Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne to get my Deaconess degree, uh, following just for more theological training and understanding following. Um, I graduated uh, in the class of 2021 from Faith Lutheran High School in this area, as you probably know. Uh, which was such a blessing and uh, helped me a lot in my um, pre preparations for attending uh, Concordia of uh, Wisconsin. I've been so blessed there and I've grown so much in my faith. I'm about to start my second, uh, my second year of college there and I cannot wait to see how God is going to continue to work in my life there. So thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. Sure, Magdalena is uh, getting ready to head back to Wisconsin, where my son tells us it's a little bit cooler than these 100 degree temperatures. It's a little cooler. So. As mentioned in the prayers, we do have the opportunity and have asked the Lord to bless us with that bountiful gift of rain. As you will note in the bulletin this morning, there is a hymn for rain. That is there. My understanding that it is a German hymn that uh, that they sang for rain. Uh, but knowing how well I sing German, that we decided to make sure it's translated into English. So if you will join us in singing the hymn for rain, uh, the Lord knows all languages, so I'm sure that you will understand us very well in English. And we pray the Lord would bless us with the gift of rain. Let's join together. <laughs> Thank you. 
the bulletin, we have the opportunity to teach and train our young, and we are in need of Sunday school teachers. If anyone is interested, please contact myself or Mike Zim. I would be happy to get with some of the classes that are there. With that, we do have a Sunday school teachers meeting following the service in the church office as we prepare for that to begin uh, later in August. Have a blessed and wonderful day. The Lord stay hydrated. May God continue to watch over and bless us.